It's penny time, penny time, Lincoln cents. Let's see if we can hunt some Lincoln cents there. Let's get this tape done. No, this is a different box, type of box than I usually get. Oh, we got circulated cents. We got circulated cents. Oh, very cool. Oh, let's find out what we got in this penny box here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cute coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, roll number six. First find is a pretty nice one here. We have a 1972. This one is a double die obverse. Double die number three or FS103 in the cherry picker's guide. This one is pretty cool. This one, unfortunately, is circulated, so so it is kind of got some of the circulation wear and damage on it. Um, the date is kind of smashed, so you can't see the splitting on here, but you can definitely see the extra, extra thickness in the date and in Liberty. Um, the splitting is a bit minor, and it's easy to see on uh, less, uh, more uncirculated coins. But in God We Trust up here in the motto, um, you can see the doubling pretty clearly, and this looks to match to FS-103 in the Cherry Picker's Guide. That's a pretty cool find. Very awesome, very fun find, definitely. We are on roll 18, and we've hit a Canadian. 1983. See, they put that way. Canadian. Ooh, it's got a little ugly little scratch there across, the, across her nose. But we're going to put that up there as a fine. It's been a so slow box, um, mostly 70s or newer. So hopefully I'll be back with another fine here in just a second. Roll number 29. And we've got a interesting find here. We have a very worn and circulated beat up 1968 S-minute proof. I mean, you can still see the reflectivity on the surface in places even through all that cloudiness and dirtiness. The other marker is that the rim is wider, much wider and more of a squared, uh, squared off shape there. Um, but this one is really circulated, really damaged. But still, it is a proof. So we uh, count that as a find and we're gonna add it up here. On roll number 32, we've got a interesting fun find here. Of a 1976 that's been counterstamped with the state of Georgia. Nice. I don't find many counterstamped coins, but uh, that is a fun little find there. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna put it up here and keep going. 33, I just poured it out and I got an interesting find right here. Got something that shouldn't be in these penny rolls. We have a bank error in my favor, a uh, 2002 dime, a uh, nine cents richer. Woo -hoo -hoo. To the back of roll 34 and come across our first wheat cent, 1945. 34 rolls in to hit a wheat cent. I was starting to think I wasn't going to see one in this box. It's been a while since I have had a box without a wheat cent, so that is a welcome sight. Got some interesting stuff here, and now we got a wheat scent to go with it. Very cool. Let's see what else we got. Roll number 37, and we have a very beat up Canadian Ender here. This is a 1997. It is pretty worse for wear, but I figured I would bring you in because it's an Ender. Let's crack into it and just uh, take a quick look at it, add it up here, and uh, see if there's anything else in here that uh, sticks out. See if I can do this. All right, got it out and got it flattened down. All right, let's see. 1997 Canadian. That is rough. That is rough, buddy. Um, yeah. All right, there is one back here that looks like it might be older. Hey, we got a wheat sign in here too. 1941, 1941 out of Philly. Nice, nice. Let's see, nothing else is standing out as old looking. 
but I could be missing something. So let me go through this, see what else is in here, and we'll keep going. Well, number 39, getting towards the back here. So let's flatten them out to keep moving them through. I uh, saw some wheat ears pop out. 1953, it looks like. That is a pretty gnarly wheat scent there. But there we go. That is our third wheat scent. Very cool. 41. And we've hit another wheat scent here. Got a 44 out of Philly. That is our fourth wheat scent. Very cool. Okay, time to wrap up there. Um, this this box went pretty slow. Uh, not a lot of finds, but we did have some pretty cool stuff here. Um, we had four wheats. We had the one uh, counter stamped with the Georgia State. I don't think I've ever found a state quarter or state uh, stamped penny before so that's that's cool I mean, I can find them out there but I just haven't found any a really beat up dirty 1964s proof and then probably to find it a hunt is this 1972 DDO number three FS 103 in the cherry picker sky very cool very cool to find one of those um, then I had a dime and two Canadians all right, um, that is it for the finds. I've got some coins over here. I'm checking against the album. I don't know how much I'm actually going to put in there, but I do have a stack of a couple of them here, so I'm going to check those out. So we'll be right back and see what we got there. For book number one, we have the Lincoln Wheat Sense here, and none of the Wheat Sense we found upgraded what we have in here. So only one coin to talk about for book number two. 1994 to Denver. This one in here has some surface issues, the fingerprint and stuff. This one is just a much nicer, cleaner example, so I'm going to switch that out. That's it for book number two. All right, book number three, we only have one coin to talk about. 2018 out of Philly. Um, the, I was missing that coin in the book. Didn't realize it uh, until I checked this one that I set aside. Very cool. We're going to fill that spot up with a pretty nice coin that's it for book number three there we have it we have one more hunt in the books one spot filled one spot upgraded so uh, another another fun hunt some pretty cool finds um not a lot in the way of fills and upgrades so the coins i had set aside i had better ones in here and with these uh um cardboard albums here the holes will will kind of get stretched out and worn out if you plug too many coins in and out so I'm trying to be very particular about the coins I switch out and if if it's worth it or not once we get to a red state there all right well I do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up it helps me out drop a comment down below let me know what you thought thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day and I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.